Good morning, Dallas Drainage Pros. Today we are doing a job in Lakewood and it's kind of a, uh, a more serious job because the slope of this property drains right towards the house um, and the homeowner was concerned about flooding in a bad storm. So I'm gonna show you just all that we're looking at and have to take into consideration and walk you through the process. So right now we are figuring out the depth that we're gonna have to dig this trench because the side yard is lower than the front yard. And in order for our pipe to have a downward slope going that way, we're gonna have to dig this section even deeper and we just wanna know what our target is. So again, always taking the guesswork out of uh, what we're doing, we use the right equipment. In this case, it's the laser that gives us the answer. So this week's job, we are dealing with a property that slopes right up to the front of the house. And of course, in a real rainstorm, that's a problem. Um, the house almost experienced flooding in the last downpour that we had. So we're doing a number of things. We're installing a six inch line and that's based on calculations. That's what's required to handle a real rainfall. Uh, so we're just digging our trench here. This is gonna be a river rock bed. So it'll look really nice. Um, it'll have aesthetic appeal and tremendous functionality. It'll prevent the dirt from eroding and going into the drain basins. Here is a low spot in the walkway. And uh, so we're just gonna cut out a section of that, a small square and place a drain basin. This whole sidewalk is in concrete, so it's permanent. Um, and so for that reason, we're just gonna cut out a small square here, put a basin and tie it in to our drainage uh, running this way. On this side of the property, again, they're dealing with runoff from higher elevation. This side is from the neighbors. It's just the way the neighborhood slopes, the street slopes. And so here we're gonna place surface drains uh, to collect runoff because we're already pretty high close to the foundation and there's no need no reason to have uh, standing water here so we're going to put basins and run that water into the six inch line come in this direction and then the whole system is going to run this direction and discharge behind the property in the alley and there's no storm this system is not gonna be able to handle. Well, we have just a little bit more work to do, but we've added the basins. It's really just a matter of putting this back. We got all these installed. And you can see that level is Perfect, about three inches below grade. And then we'll put the river rock on top after our barrier fabric. Just getting all the uh, extra dirt out of here right now. All the way to a open discharge right here. That's gonna carry a ton of water, no more worries about flooding at this house. So just to give you a quick walkthrough of everything we did, got this Tejas gravel put back and our three inlets against the side of the house. One here right on the corner to collect runoff coming from the neighbor's side over here in the front yard. And then this beautiful salt and pepper river rock drainage bed with six inch pipe. We added this surface drain right here because the way this patio was graded, water was pooling right there. So we took care of that. Getting 
everything washed off. Looking real nice. Functionality with aesthetic appeal. Gotta love it. Oh yeah, that's a good look right there. Looks good, works really good. Love it.